this harbour, those ships were attacked by the same uh, fleet of the Japanese Navy and the same aircraft that attacked Pearl Harbour on the 9th of December. So only 10 weeks later, they arrived here. And I thank you for the privilege of allowing me to join you in honoring the brave souls who tragically perished on this, the 73rd anniversary of the bombing of Darwin. What happened here will not be forgotten. And really, it changed the course of history between our two nations. I look at our close relationship, I look at this safe and still harbor, and I think that this is a real tribute to those who perished on February 19th, 1942. Free, strong, hopeful, and brave. On behalf of the United States of America, I thank you, Australia. Thank you for your friendship. Thank you for your support. Thank you to the AAA. Thank you, people of Darwin. Thank you for remembering these brave souls who lost their lives that day. Lest we forget, thank you. Every year on the 19th of February, we commemorate the anniversary of the bombing of Darwin. It was on this day, 73 years ago, that Australia was faced with this, what is still considered the largest foreign attack on home soil. And we stand together in reflection to honour the many people and communities who were affected by the events of 1942. Bombing of Darwin Day now joins Anzac Day and Remembrance Day as a time when we throughout Australia, pause to think about our history, how it has shaped our present, and the significance it plays in our future. It is my hope through remembrance and education, the next generation of Australians will understand the lessons learnt about the effects of war and to help ensure a peaceful future for Australia. Modern Darwin is now a vibrant city that creates opportunity and choice for our community. We have pride in our multiculturalism and the wonderful mix of people who call Darwin home. Minister for Veteran Affairs. Thank you. 
So as the Minister for Multicultural Affairs for the Northern Territory, I must say uh, it's really encouraging to see so many people here, to see so many people from so many different countries. Uh, all the consuls are here, everybody's here uh, for this commemoration service of the bombing of Darwin. Uh, what's really important is that uh, we never forget what happens, but more importantly, we need to reconcile and move on. Well, um, you know, here we have um, uh, you know, many people from Japan here today. Uh, we've got the, um, the Consul General uh, for Australia here uh, today. Uh, I met with him yesterday and we discussed what happened uh, and we discussed that uh, we need to move on and we need to strengthen our relationships uh, to ensure that uh, even older people reconcile with the modern world. Uh, what has happened in the past, we need to keep in the past. What we need to do is make sure that when we move into the future that our relationships are strong because it is through strong relationships and understanding each other that we don't get to the stage where we're going to have conflict. In January this year, uh, I was in Hawaii uh, in the United States of America and I visited Pearl Harbor, uh, which is where um, the conflict uh, between Japan and America in the World War II started. Uh, I was very encouraged to see almost half the people in my group were Japanese people who had actually come to Pearl Harbor to see what happened. Uh, albeit that they've all moved on, uh, they were there uh, and uh, taking a great deal of interest in what's happened. Uh, we don't see that many people from Japan coming to Darwin because it was the same naval force uh, in Pearl Harbor in Darwin. Um, we also have um, the I-124 submarine, which is the grave for 80 uh, Japanese soldiers just off our coast here. Uh, it is a, a, a burial site and a sacred site to the Japanese uh, and uh, we have protected that site and we protect that site uh, as uh, a burial ground for mariners. The, um, uh, albeit that uh, you know, 73 years ago we were at war, we are now good allies and good friends. Uh, and it's testament to those elsewhere in the world that even if you have conflict, you can reconcile and you can move on. You're here and why did you bring your wife to the to this commemoration? Uh, first of all, I'm a proud Australian, um, ex-military myself. My father fought in World War II against the Japanese and um, coming here to Darwin, I've been here 15 years. Met my wife here two years ago and uh, we, we come every, every year and um, it's a great event. Thank you so much. Uh, here is えっと、去年初めて来られたそうですけれども、どのように感じられましたか。まず初めてダーウィンに来るまで、そのダーウィンに空爆のことは知らなかったんですね。で、主人と出会って教えてもらって、で、さらに主人からこのイベントに誘われ
まあ、これありがたいとして私としてはあの出席させていただいたということです。あ、えー、今日はダーウィン空爆記念式典に参加しました。<笑> And、uh, how do you feel as a Japanese being here? えーとですね、最初に出席したのは4年前だったんですけれども、もっと気まずい思いをするかなと思ってたんですが、あのー、皆さんカジュアルですし、別に私が日本人だからといって、じろじろ見られることもないですし、えー、皆さんこう、前に向かっていっているのを感じますね。And so, um... Uh, with the raids on Darwin, a lot of Japanese lost their lives too. Do you feel something for them, and you, do you think that they need to be remembered too by somebody? Yes, it's true. In Japan, Darwin was killed by Darwin. In Japan, Darwin was killed by Darwin. 覚えてくれているというふうなことを感じるのでこれを伝えて日本とオーストラリア一緒にこう慰霊ができるようになればいいなと思っています。And we know that some of the,、uh, like there's a I-124 we've heard about, but some of the Japanese who、uh, still remain here don't have any、uh, descendants to remember them. So it's important that someone does. Is that right? はい、はい、そうですね、えーとまあ、少なくとも私みたいなオーストラリアダーウィンに住んでいる日本人が慰霊をしてで,できれば遺族の方たちが生きているうちにこちらに来ることができればいいなと思いますね。Yep.